Welcome to the GCC Innova tutorial for setting up and using email templates within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Using email templates is a great way to quickly speed up sending emails to people by having boilerplate text that you can insert straight into your email. In order to do this we're going to come down to settings within Dynamics CRM, up to templates, across to email templates, and here we'll have a list of the email templates that we currently have set up. There are several template types here. These are the various areas that you can use this particular template in. So there's a customer reconnect there, which we can use against a contact record. And the reason it's tied to a contract is there'll be fields from the contact form inserted into the email template. Viewable by, if we're set to organization, then the usual security rules apply as to whether you can see this email template or not. If we're set to individual, then only you can use that particular template. So here we have one that is global use only by me, and it is my email signature. And we'll come to how that is inserted into an email once we've set up our particular template. So now if we come up to new within templates, we can choose our template type. I'm going to be contacting a person, so I'm choosing contact here. Click on OK. Now we have our template builder, so I need to put in a title here that I can refer back to when I come to choose the template. I can put in more description here if I need to. Now we're into what the subject line of the email will be, and then the body text. So there we've got a quick block of text. We can use the usual formatting fields to format the text, but one of the ideal things here is we can actually now take the first name from the contact record that we'll be emailing and insert it directly into the email. So I've come onto insert and update, come onto add, across onto my contact record. Notice I have user account and contact there. I now have the fields of the contact record. I can scroll down to first name, click on OK, click on OK again, and now I have that field inserted ready to be used when I create the email template. So save and close. So I now have it saved as marketing follow up. So it's available to the contact records at an organizational level. If I just want to make it just available to me. I just need to double click and open again, come into actions and revert to a personal template. Vice versa if it's a personal template that I need to make available to the organization. So if we just close there. Now we can use that template in a variety of places, either in marketing, uh, quick campaigns, anything along those lines. But for now I'm just going to do an individual email to an individual person. So I'm coming down onto a contact record here. I just need to email Paul. I've just had a meeting with him, so I just need to send a follow-up email. So just on send email as normal. I'm not going to insert anything into the subject line on the body text, but just come straight over to insert template. Now it gives me my list of available templates. There's my meeting follow-up. Click on OK, and now inserts my template in. And notice it's picked up the first name. I can also insert another template on top of my template, so I'm going to come in now and insert my signature template. It's a global one, so it's up here as rather than a contact based one. It's going to come up with a message as soon as I select email signature here. It's warning me that it will overwrite my subject line with the subject line of my signatory template if I'm not careful. I don't want that to happen, so I just need to click on cancel here. If I scroll down a little further, we have my email signature added into. So that's a very quick way to get a standard email together. All I then need to do is send as normal. So that's creating email templates within Microsoft Dynamics CRM.